I'd like to call out uh, Paul Perone and his friend Tommy. Hi, James. Target. Entering run mode. Watch out. Turning right. Turning left. Brought a little friend here. This is uh, Tommy left. Jr. An autonomous uh, ground vehicle built for the DARPA Urban Challenge. You may have remembered Tommy Sr. from 2006, and this is his progeny. Come on, Tommy. Don't be bashful. All right. Stay. So, so Tommy is empty. Yeah. Um, it's a completely driverless uh, robotic right. car. Um, there's no one inside, no one and in remote control. Back in the wave from power and uh, sometimes shifting into reverse. when you get too close to him, he uh, kind of likes his space, so he might back yeah. away. But So he's kind of got this sort of sense of personal space. You're yeah, he doesn't like to be crowded. You know? Yeah, yeah. He's not European. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, shall we give you a tour of the yeah. vehicle here? Yeah, all right. So, so you've got a lot of Pausing. stuff on the outside of this Scion. Yeah. So yeah, we've got all kinds of sensors on the vehicle this year for the DARPA Urban Challenge, uh, many challenges uh, interacting with other vehicles on the road. So we have all kinds of lasers on the periphery of the vehicle to detect other cars around the vehicle, clock their speed, and figure out where they are so it knows uh, how to pass them, navigate around them, and what have you. Right, so you've got the scanning laser, laser range finders around the edge. You got the one on the top that that gives people kind of a creepy feeling because it's like he's looking at you, which he is. He's watching you. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's kind of like his eyeball that he gets to move around. Right. It's kind of it's a gimbal. Uh, it's a gimbaled uh, laser so that we can sort of scan the uh, the horizon just in front of the vehicle and also pick up the curbs and walls on the left and right of the vehicle. Cool. Yeah. And then you got the GPS on top. We've got our and, and accelerometers? Uh, yeah, standard, yeah, we've got a highly precise uh, two to four inch accurate GPS system, um, uh, inertial navigation system to tell us our orientation on Earth, uh, roll pitch, y'all. And then in the back here, um, we've tricked out the trunk a little bit, not with subwoofers or anything like that, but with uh, a bunch of computer equipment. And I was expecting groceries here. <laughs> Well, yeah, sorry to disappoint. We just have a bunch of electronic gizmos to deliver your way. So yeah, essentially what you see here is uh, mostly power electronics to power the actuators uh, and the glue logic to map between the computers and the sensors and, and the microcontrollers. Right, so there's, so, so which board is the, the actual brains of this here thing? All of Tommy Jr.'s intelligence, and we, we were kind of surprised when we, when we got to this point. We had plan to have multiple processors, but all of Tommy's sensor fusion and artificial intelligence and decision making is done on this single $200 microprocessor here that runs Solaris and Java RTS. So we're pretty uh, happy with that. Obviously, it kept the cost down. It makes this a uh, commercially uh, viable uh, technology. Yeah, so pretty much all the rest of it is just collecting the data, you know, do, you're reading from all the different like IO buses and serial ports and whatever that come off these instruments and then the, the, the spooky looking amplifiers there that I'm <laughs> sure are just, just controlling the actuators. Exactly and we do have some uh, J stamps in here to do some uh, low level control of the actual motors. These are dumb motors. Uh, there's no intelligence built into them. They're $300 parts. We just we directly control them in sub millisecond accuracy and we've even got a sunspot in here which is monitoring uh, the, uh, the system to uh, make sure the system's operating safely. Yeah, so this is really assembled off of, you know, just standard commercial off-the-shelf parts. Yeah, all off-the-shelf parts. Uh, some can be procured locally, some uh, certainly on the web with a credit card. But yeah, we've built no uh, hardware ourselves. We've uh, just procured all the equipment, integrated it together, dropped in the software, and unleashed the vehicle. So you had, you had some slides uh, to describe how this thing actually uh, fits together. Yeah, what you see here um, sort of in the lower right hand corner of this diagram is a basic depiction of uh, Tommy's uh, processing. Um, so he's, uh, we're, we're given a, uh, a virtual map of a city uh, from DARPA that tells us all the roads and intersections and a mission five minutes before we're to unleash the vehicle um, that tells us the checkpoints through the city. So we have to go through some route planning to uh, plan its optimal route uh, from checkpoint to checkpoint. Um, along the way invoking certain navigation maneuvers. For example, if he's at an intersection or um, he has to follow precedence order, 
um, all kinds of things that we would do in driving from point A to point B through a city, parking, merging in traffic, uh, high-speed passes, and what have you.